The Dutch are often associated with windmills, tulips, and canals, but there's much more to their story hidden deep in their DNA. Today, we're diving into the genetic history of the Netherlands to uncover the surprising origins of Dutch genetics. While many see the Dutch as a homogenous group, modern genetic studies tell a very different story, one filled with ancient migrations, unexpected influences, and the remarkable impact of geography on human history. What's fascinating is how these genetic stories connect the Dutch to some of the most significant events in Europe's history, from the Neolithic farming revolution to the bustling trade networks of the Dutch Golden Age. Through advanced DNA analysis, researchers have pieced together the puzzle of how ancient peoples and modern influences shaped the genetic identity of the Dutch. In this video, we'll reveal the eight key chapters of this journey, from the earliest settlers to the modern era. And trust us, the findings may surprise you. So, buckle up as we unravel a story that's been locked in the DNA of the Dutch for thousands of years. Let's get started. To understand the genetics of the Dutch, you first need to understand the Netherlands itself, a low-lying country with a long history of human settlement. The unique geography of the region, with its rivers, fertile lands, and access to the North Sea, has played a massive role in shaping the population over millennia. The Netherlands has always been a land of connection, strategically positioned between major European regions. This geographic advantage made the area a prime spot for migration, trade, and conflict. Over thousands of years, various groups passed through or settled here, each leaving their genetic mark. But the Dutch also faced geographical challenges. Much of the land was marshy and prone to flooding. Early inhabitants engineered solutions to these issues, creating polders and dikes that not only transformed the landscape, but also created stable conditions for communities to flourish. Historically, the Netherlands served as a melting pot, with waves of migrants contributing to its diversity. This geographic crossroads exposed the Dutch to the genetic influences of neighboring Germanic tribes, southern Roman populations, and even far-off trade connections. Each of these groups brought unique genetic signatures, blending into what we now recognize as Dutch ancestry. While many European populations have similar genetic stories, what makes the Dutch unique is how their geography amplified this diversity. From ancient times to the bustling trade routes of the Middle Ages, the Dutch have continuously absorbed and adapted to external influences, making their genetic story both rich and complex. The story of Dutch genetics begins long before the Netherlands even existed as a nation. Thousands of years ago, the first humans arrived in this region, leaving traces of their DNA in today's population. The earliest inhabitants were Mesolithic hunter-gatherers who lived off the land, hunting animals and gathering plants. These people were some of Europe's original settlers after the last ice age. Around 7,000 years ago, they were joined by Neolithic farmers who migrated from the Near East. These farmers brought a revolutionary way of life, agriculture. But they also brought something else, their genes. Modern studies show that these farmers left a significant genetic impact on populations across Europe, including the ancestors of the Dutch. However, they didn't replace the hunter-gatherers entirely. Instead, the two groups mixed combining their genetic legacies into a unique blend. The next major wave came during the Bronze Age when steppe migrants swept across Europe from what is now Ukraine and southern Russia. These people brought new technologies, languages, and cultural practices, along with their distinct genetic markers. The steppe migrants are believed to have introduced traits like lactose tolerance, which allowed populations to digest milk well into adulthood, an advantage that became particularly important in the dairy-loving Netherlands. By the end of the Bronze Age, the genetic foundations of the Dutch were firmly in place. These early populations, hunter-gatherers, farmers, and steppe migrants, formed the core of what we now recognize as Dutch genetics. But their story didn't end there. Over the centuries, new migrations and cultural shifts would continue to shape this genetic tapestry, adding layer upon layer to the Dutch identity. The Roman Empire left its fingerprints across Europe, and the Netherlands was no exception. Although the area was on the empire's northern frontier, it played a vital role as a boundary between Roman civilization and the barbarian tribes to the north. 
During this period, the genetic makeup of the Dutch was influenced by Roman expansion and trade. Archaeological evidence shows that Roman soldiers, traders, and settlers from across the empire arrived in the region. These individuals brought a genetic mix from the Mediterranean, including Southern European and Near Eastern populations. For instance, remains from Roman-era graves in the Netherlands revealed DNA linked to distant parts of the empire, demonstrating how far-reaching Roman influence was. However, Roman rule didn't last forever. By the 5th century, the empire crumbled, and the region saw the rise of Germanic tribes like the Frisians, Saxons, and Franks. These groups brought new cultural and linguistic traditions, as well as genetic contributions. For example, the Franks played a crucial role in shaping the early medieval Netherlands, eventually forming the foundation of what would become modern Dutch culture. The medieval period also saw migrations triggered by climatic changes and conflicts. Vikings occasionally raided and traded in the area, leaving behind cultural and possibly genetic traces. Similarly, neighboring groups from modern-day Germany and Scandinavia continuously intermingled with the local population. By the end of the medieval period, the genetic landscape of the Netherlands had become increasingly diverse. While the core genetic contributions from ancient populations remained dominant, these additional layers from Roman and Germanic influences created a rich genetic tapestry. This period also set the stage for one of the most transformative eras in Dutch history, the Golden Age. The Dutch Golden Age, spanning the 16th and 17th centuries, wasn't just a time of economic and cultural prosperity, it was also a period of significant genetic exchange. As the Netherlands became a global trade hub, its ports bustled with merchants, sailors, and settlers from around the world. Cities like Amsterdam and Rotterdam were melting pots of different cultures. Ships from Asia, Africa, and the Americas brought goods and people who contributed to the genetic diversity of the Dutch. For example, trade with the East Indies, modern-day Indonesia, led to a small but notable influx of Asian genetic markers in Dutch coastal populations. Similarly, African and Jewish communities who sought refuge or economic opportunities in the Netherlands left their genetic imprints. But the Golden Age wasn't just about external influences. Internally, rural to urban migration brought genetic mixing between isolated regional populations. The Dutch countryside had long been home to tight knit communities, but the rapid urbanization of the Golden Age encouraged the blending of these groups. This mixing further homogenized certain genetic traits, such as the famously tall stature of the Dutch, which began to emerge during this period. The Golden Age also laid the foundation for modern Dutch identity. It reinforced the Netherlands' role as an open, interconnected society, a trait reflected in its genetics. However, this era wasn't purely one of diversity. Social hierarchies and segregation meant that some genetic contributions were more prominent in specific regions or social classes. Ultimately, the Dutch Golden Age amplified the genetic diversity of the population while solidifying certain traits that we now associate with Dutch people. This period's influence continues to resonate, but the story of Dutch genetics doesn't stop here. Let's look at what makes modern Dutch genetics unique today. When people think of the Dutch, one characteristic often stands out, their height. The Dutch are the tallest people in the world on average, and genetics play a major role in this. Studies show that certain genetic markers associated with height are more prevalent in Dutch populations than in most other groups. However, height isn't just about genetics, it's also influenced by diet and lifestyle. The Netherlands' history of dairy farming and nutrient-rich diets has helped amplify this genetic potential. Beyond height, Dutch genetics reveal interesting patterns linked to health and ancestry. For example, the Dutch have a high prevalence of lactose tolerance, a trait inherited from their Bronze Age ancestors. This ability to digest milk well into adulthood has been a key factor in the country's dairy-rich cuisine. Genetic studies also reveal regional differences within the Netherlands. While the country is relatively small, populations from the north and south show slight genetic distinctions, reflecting historical migration and settlement patterns. For instance, people in the northern provinces tend to show more genetic similarities to Scandinavian populations, likely due to Viking-era influences. 
Another unique aspect of Dutch genetics is its relative stability. Compared to some other European populations, the Dutch have experienced less genetic mixing in recent centuries. This doesn't mean they're isolated, far from it, but rather that their core genetic makeup, established during ancient and medieval times, has remained largely intact. Modern migration is starting to change this, as people from all over the world settle in the Netherlands. These new waves of migration are adding yet another layer to the Dutch genetic story, blending traditions and ancestry in ways that reflect the Netherlands' long history of adaptation and openness. One of the most intriguing aspects of Dutch genetics is the surprising ancestral links discovered through modern DNA studies. While the Dutch are primarily seen as a Germanic people, genetic research has uncovered connections to populations far beyond their immediate neighbors. One surprising finding involves genetic links between the Dutch and ancient populations from the Caucasus region and the Near East. These connections trace back to the migration of steppe peoples during the Bronze Age. These groups carry genetic markers that are still detectable in modern Dutch DNA, particularly those related to lactose tolerance and certain immune system traits. Even more unexpected are small but significant genetic traces linking the Dutch to Mediterranean populations. These links are believed to have been introduced during the Roman occupation and later reinforced during the Dutch Golden Age, when sailors and traders brought genetic influences from Southern Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East. Another fascinating discovery is the genetic overlap between the Dutch and Scandinavian populations. This connection stems from shared ancestry dating back to the Germanic migrations of the early medieval period as well as the Viking raids and settlements that left subtle genetic imprints in the northern Netherlands. But perhaps the most surprising revelation is the regional diversity within the Netherlands itself. Genetic studies reveal subtle but distinct differences between populations in the north, south, and coastal areas. For example, people in the southern provinces show greater genetic similarity to populations in Belgium and France, reflecting centuries of cultural and geographic ties. Meanwhile, northern populations exhibit stronger genetic ties to Scandinavia and Germany. These findings challenge the idea of a singular Dutch genetic identity and highlight the rich tapestry of influences that have shaped the population. They also remind us that genetics is a living story, continually influenced by historical events, migrations, and cultural exchanges. As we piece together these ancestral links, it becomes clear that the Dutch are not an isolated group, but a dynamic blend of ancient and modern influences. And this blending continues to evolve as migration and globalization introduce new elements into the genetic landscape of the Netherlands. As we look to the future, Dutch genetics is poised to become even more diverse. The Netherlands has long been a global crossroads, and modern migration patterns are adding new layers to its genetic story. Today, people from all over the world are making the Netherlands their home, bringing genetic contributions from Africa, Asia, the Middle East, and beyond. This influx of diversity is already visible in urban areas like Amsterdam, Rotterdam, and The Hague, where multicultural communities thrive. These populations are blending with the existing Dutch gene pool, creating a dynamic mix that reflects the country's global outlook. Future genetic studies will likely reveal how this modern migration is reshaping the genetic identity of the Dutch. But the story of Dutch genetics isn't just about diversity. Advances in genetic research are also uncovering new insights into health and disease. Scientists are using the unique genetic characteristics of the Dutch population to study conditions like heart disease, diabetes, and certain types of cancer. These studies are not only helping the Dutch, but are contributing to global medical research. At the same time, the preservation of historical genetic data remains important. As the Dutch population becomes more mixed, scientists are working to document the genetic signatures of earlier generations. These efforts ensure that the rich history encoded in Dutch DNA isn't lost, but instead serves as a foundation for understanding the broader story of human evolution. The future of Dutch genetics is also tied to environmental and lifestyle factors. As climate change, urbanization, and dietary shifts continue to influence populations, they may lead to subtle genetic adaptations in areas like metabolism, height, and immune response. 
Ultimately, the story of Dutch genetics is far from over. It's a living narrative, shaped by history, geography, and the ever-changing tides of migration. As we continue to study and learn from this genetic tapestry, one thing is clear, the Dutch are a remarkable example of how our shared human history is written in our DNA. So, what have we learned about the origins of Dutch genetics? From the ancient hunter-gatherers and Neolithic farmers who first settled the region to the steppe migrants, Roman occupiers, and Golden Age traders, the Dutch genetic story is a complex and fascinating one. It's a story of connection, adaptation, and resilience, shaped by geography, history, and the people who made the Netherlands their home. Modern Dutch genetics continue to evolve, blending ancient roots with the influences of today's multicultural society. And through ongoing research, scientists are uncovering not only the history of the Dutch, but also clues about human evolution, migration, and health. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into Dutch genetics. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more incredible stories about human history and genetics. Let us know in the comments what surprised you most about Dutch genetics. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.